Do you know what a bounty hunter is? You kill people. And they give you a reward? Better they are, bigger the reward. First of all, Walter, congratulations on the ensemble nomination for Lincoln Thank and you, everything man. else. I mean, you've Thank been you. in a lot of great pictures lately, so it's good to see you continuing your craft. Thank you so much. Now, man. you're from Birmingham, Alabama. I was born in Birmingham. I grew up in Georgia. Not much better yeah. as far as like right. as, far, as far as the times and and, and race relations and everything right. else. So, I got an interesting question for you. Django stands apart. It's like one of the few. Right movies that deal with slavery and, and and that why do you think America has had such a hard time putting slavery on screen? Why do I think America's had a hard time putting slavery on on screen? Um, uh, you know I I, 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 I I think sometimes uh, people aren't willing to um, uh, look at themselves uh, in the mirror you know um, and, and open the closet on um, and expose all the bones that are that are hidden, you know. But but movies have come out mm -hmm. that have dealt with this, and they've been seminal. Um, uh, and I think that that they have affected um, uh, quite a few people along the way. Um, I, I don't think that this is uh, the, the the two movies that came out this year, Lincoln and Django, are going to be, nor should they be, the last. Uh, and, and educating the populace on the atrocities that were committed against African Americans in this country. Um, and, and there will be another filmmaker um, that will tell the same thing. You know, I, I've, I, you know I, I think a lot of movies, actually, I disagree with you, have, have actually touched on this subject. You know, I did a movie for Spike Lee um, that was about Buffalo soldiers in World War II. And, um, and, and, and it was, uh, you know, it was uh, an unbelievable experience. Right. You know, I, I think a lot of people for a long time have been, have been sp speaking about this. I don't think that anyone has done it uh, in, in quite this way before. Right, right. You know, and, and I think that that's to be celebrated. I think that exploring white America's worst nightmare uh, during slavery in this country is something that, that, that needed to be said. You know, it's looking at, uh, at the atrocities in a different way, and it allows you to laugh at them. Right. Um, in addition to seeing up, up close and personal the violence perpetrated against um, blacks in this country. Y'all ain't gonna make it out of line. Anyone bring any extra bags? No, nobody brought an extra bag. I'm just asking. <laughs> You just, you just mentioned the America at St. Anna picture that, that you was a part of, and yeah. I know you worked with Spielberg and Cowboys and Aliens and now Quentin Tarantino. What, as an actor, what do you get from these different great directors that you that you work with? Are they do they build your craft also? Like after you leave a, a set of a working on one of these films, do you? You're never the same, mate. You know, you're never the same, and it's and it's and it's the filmmaker, and it's uh, it's the other actors that you're around. It's uh, uh, it's seeing what what they do. It's it's getting to a place so much you know so often, man. I mean, I've been around. I've been doing this for a very long time, you know. And uh, and earlier in my career, I, I think as as for for all of us, um, uh, when we're when we're younger, we spend so much time with insecurity and with fear and with anxiety mm -hmm. in situations that we that we experience socially. Mm -hmm. um, or are we experience in our occupation? And, and it's a lot of wasted time that could be spent on creativity. But right. I think it's a very important um, portal to go through. Um, and I've gotten to the place now in my career where um, I, I enjoy the process so much that I'm able to look the people that I'm working with in the eye and really listen to what it is that they're saying. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's... Uh, uh, I'm so grateful that I've been able to work long enough to get to that place and to participate in movies that, um, and work with filmmakers that I think will stand the test of time. I think we'll be talking about Quentin Tarantino for as long as they're making movies. Okay. And the same thing with Spike Lee, and the same thing with Steven Spielberg, and the same thing with a, a lot of the other greats that are working now. And the same thing with you. You'll be in a lot of more great pictures and we'll keep on watching. Hey, so thanks, man. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks for saying it. Thank man. you, sir.